Terox Idol Store. Avram knew who Hashem was, but his father, Terach, refused to believe his son's discovery. In fact, Terach was an idol worshiper, and he even had a store to sell idols. Who knows, maybe the store was called Idols Are Us. This upset Avram very much, and finally, he had a chance to do something about it. Avram takes a stand. One day, Terach left his son Avram in charge of his idol store while he went out for a while. Within a few moments, a very tall man entered the store. <laughs> Show me the biggest idol you have in stock. It must be as big as, or even bigger than me. Money is no object he said as he took out a huge amount of cash from his wallet. How old are you? Avram questioned him. I am 53 years old. And you want to spend a ton of money for a god that was just made yesterday? Hmm, you're pretty smart for such a young boy, he said, and quickly left the idol store. Next, an old woman entered. She told Avram the terrible news. Young man, I must buy some idols. A thief robbed me of all my idols last night, and I can't be in my house without idols for protection. Quick, sell me some idols. No problem. But if the idols couldn't protect themselves and they were stolen, how do you expect them to protect you? You got a good point, sonny boy. And she walked out empty-handed. While he was sitting alone in the store surrounded by lifeless statues, a lady came in with some delicious food for the idols. An idea popped into Avram's head. He grabbed an axe and smashed all of his father's idols. All except the largest one. When he was finished, he placed the axe in the arm of the one remaining idol and placed the food in front of it. What a mess! Upon returning home, Terach entered his store and... What a shock! What a mess! What on earth could have happened here? Terach demanded to know. Avram replied, See that big idol standing over there? All of the idols were shouting and fighting over the food. And the biggest and strongest one grabbed an axe and smashed all the others to pieces. There was no way I could stop him. What? Terak exclaimed. That's impossible! That, that's just a piece of rock! It can't eat! It can't talk! It can't hear! It can't move! It certainly can't use an axe! Father, you are quite right. But if an idol can't eat, can't talk, can't hear, can't move, does not have any power, then why in the world do you bow down to it? Do you think Terach realized the truth in his son's words? No way! He was burning angry! Oh. A fire and a miracle! After the idol smashing incident, Terach informed King Nimrod about Avram's terrible act. Nimrod immediately brought Avram to a fiery furnace near his palace, pointed to an idol, and cried out to him, Bow down to this idol or be thrown into this fire. This did not frighten Avram. He knew that a human king can never be more powerful than Hashem. He refused to bow down to the idol. 
Nimrod was furious, and he ordered Avram to be thrown into the flames. But miracle of miracles! Hashem commanded the fire not to harm the one who has served him so faithfully. Avram came out from the fire without a burn or a scratch. He announced to all, It is Hashem, the creator of the world, who saved me. If you like this Taste of Shazak Parsha video, you'll love the complete video at shazak.com. You'll also get amazing Parsha quizzers, puzzles, Parsha on a page, and the Parsha post. Use coupon code SHAZAK for a great discount.